Zoom video to see you and me actually doing things in actual time instead of that lag that kind of disorients me. Okay, now let me disengage this. Pop out chart or chat. Oops. And there we are. And reduce that. Yep, we are now live. Hold on, I hear echo. Okay. Can you hear the echo? Yeah, I can hear it coming from your screen. Yeah, just hold on. Let me get it all fixed. Okay. Actually, I don't need this one. Can you hear the echo? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you still hear echo? Hey, yep. That means there's something still. Actually, I'm not hearing it now. Make sure I have. I think. Can you hear echo now? I don't. Does anybody else okay. in the chat hear an echo? What was that? Um, hold on a second. Well, hi, Aqua Quilter. Hey, Lisa, do you happen to hear an echo on your end, hon? Okay, Lisa says she doesn't hear any echoes, so we're good. Oh, I found the echo. <laughs> All right, now I should not hear anything. <laughs> as long nope, as you can still hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. I just want to, I thought I heard another screen going a little wacky. Okay. Nothing All like right, a lot with a little bit of difficulty. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's because I have too many windows open. Okay, let's get on with this then. Hello, everybody. My name is Katie, and welcome to Greenland Culture. And my guest tonight is Donnell from Donnell Stitchery. And I'm going to turn it over to her for a couple of minutes and let her talk to you about who she is and about her channel. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do today. Hey, everybody. So my name is Donnell, and I'm with Donnell Stitchery. I go live every Saturday morning around 10 a.m., usually for about an hour or two. Plus, I put out a video every Thursday of just anything that I wanted to update the, from the week or anything else that I had going on, or even a tutorial, quick, easy tutorial that I want to show. And... So, yeah, I just like to hang out with like-minded people and sew and have fun. That sounds like fun to me. Yes. So, um, as I told y'all when I first started the the in the week or the Stronger Sewing Together part, that's what I'm calling this, Stronger Sewing Together, yeah. Anyway. We are going to be do using this particular live to work on either a UFO, a WIP, or whatever my guest wants to work on. And I'll be working on, today I'm going to be working on my uh, Clue 8, or finishing Clue 8 of my Begonia, because that is a UFO. Andrea says she has no sound, though. Can Does, does everybody hear us? Except Andrea. Hello. Hey, Give Candace. How are you doing? Hi, Candace. Hey, okay, Sylvia so says sound is good on her end. Okay, so it must be something with uh, Andrea then. Andrea, I've got the closed caption set up for you though. Yeah, Andrea, if you might, if you might need to uh, back out of it and then come back into the video because that might fix it then. <laughs> you see what Fallon said. Choose the last one because I thought I was going to add another one to it. And he wouldn't let me add one where it was like lots. I was going to put more than that, but they didn't. It only allowed me to add that many. So just choose the last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. All right. So anyway, um, 
I'm going to work on my Village Green Clue 8 because that is a UFO. And my goals, my big goal for this year is to finish as many of my PMQ UFOs as I got, which I have a lot. And some of them are like 50, 60% done. And there's two that's not been touched hardly at all. Now I lost the picture on my TV, but you're still here on my computer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I hate when technology gets in the way of everything. Right? Um, Trying to think. Uh, Probably right at the end, we'll talk a little bit more about how... Well, I can talk to you about it now. My, my live streams and stuff are going to be more frequent probably over the next four weeks. There's going to be a period where you might see four lives in one week. And the reason that is, is because when I leave for QuiltCon, I am going to be gone from February the 15th until April the 2nd. So I will have probably not, well, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to try to do a live at all um, while I'm gone, but I will have re pre-recorded stuff to put up. Um Every time I've ever watched a live with someone in a quilt show is so pixelated. It's not very enjoyable. And I don't really know that I want to put y'all through that. I would rather create video, good video um, and document it. That way I can document the quilt and the story next to the quilt that they always put next to the thing. And then I can split these videos up into multiple vid videos and show them to you over time. Because from what I understand, there's like 500 quilts in Quilt Quan show this year. So oh, wow. that's going to take a little while. So I'm just going to use as much of my leftover days that I have before I make my trip and do lives and do pre recorded And the pre recorded I'll schedule as a, um, I'll schedule them and put a um, thumbnail up of when they're going to go up and do that. Awesome. Hi, Jane, Captain Stitches, and Teresa Louise. How are you both doing? Hi, Teresa. Hello, Jean. Hello, Tangle Zest. And yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys can choose the very last one. I tried to add another one where it was more than, and it wouldn't let me. So <laughs> just choose the last one. I'm curious to see what we come up with on numbers. I okay. should have made the last should have made the last option too many. I sh yeah, I should have edited it and made it <laughs> all of the above or more or something. But yeah. Um Donnell, what are you going to work on? I am working on this bag burned pineapple quilt that has been haunting me. Oh, is that the one you were working on a couple of weeks ago? Yes. I'm doing it as quilt as you go because that way there it'd be easier on my back right now. Especially after falling on the ice the other day outside. Uh -oh. Yeah, I went to go take the dog out and not realizing that the top step of my front porch was like a glacier of ice. And the moment my foot hit it, I went down, hit the back of my head, my ribs, and my lower back. That's not good. No, yep, you have to so, be careful about ice hiding underneath snow. Well, it was snow the night before, and then overnight while we were sleeping, it rained, which turned it into a glacier of ice on my top step. Andrea says, I have sound and picture now, and closed captioning is working. I am good to go. Yay! Yay! I make sure that that closed captioning was running, too. Oh. But yes, I am to the point where I am quilting my blocks and getting them all put together. So I already got the main portion of the actual pineapple already done. So now I'm just doing the top portion of the pineapple and then the uh, the blocks surrounding it. And then I'll be done. I'm moving on to my next UFO. Tangles this says my goal this month is to gather and label all my UFOs. Hey, that's a great idea. Uh, Fallon says, hi, all. I can only stay a few minutes, but wanted to say hi. Hi, Fallon. I'm hi, glad Fallon. you stopped in. Be here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Y'all make sure you do the poll. I'm going to see what we come up with, and I'll share. We'll 
look at it right before we um, end the live. And please excuse the noise coming from my Dotson. Dogs are uh, a little bit crazy inside my house right now. I have a sick dog and she seems to be, I don't know, something because he's sick. So there's that. Jean says, I need a second camera, but have no idea what to get. I'm using my phone for the second camera. And my laptop's I have a doing the main one. If you're wanting a, a webcam, Jean, then just uh, email me and I can send you links of the webcams that I have that I love. And the one I use for my sewing machine camera was actually really, really affordable. And it can get delivered through Amazon. I will be coming back from the United States with some cameras, though. One, two, three, four. That says six. Nope, that said four. Okay. So I got this part done. All right. Now we need the big block F. So I'm going to be sewing this block to... We'll be putting... We'll be making a square and a square with these green color right here Ooh, that is beautiful i am loving these batiks i can tell you that i love batiks batiks are so pretty and you can do so yes, much they with them. are they are indeed and you can do so much with batik fabrics too so while we're sewing wait a minute I need a second camera, but have no idea what to get. Thank you. Tech is not my strong suit. Yeah, we all have our um, deficits by no fault of our own. So anyway, yeah. while we're sewing, I, I think my first question of the night is going to be, what have you been working on this week? Or what have you started working on today that you didn't work on last week? Are you carrying from last week or are you starting something new today? Jean says, love that color, Katie. Was that turquoise? Yes, it, no, it's more like a green. Did this say small size? Oh. It's just small C. Okay. Seem like they're awful small for this big block. Tell us what you're working on. So one of the things that I'm discovering about my uh, the channel uh -huh. and um, how we have to what we do to make it grow better, one of the things is is that engagement in our chats during a live matters as far as analytics are concerned. It helps with the watch hours and along along with other things. Okay. So there's a lot of things that come into play when it comes to growing the channel. Oh my gosh, yes. I am so close to 1,100, it's crazy. Y'all, I'm only two away from 1,100 subscribers. I am like, I think, 20-something away from having 400 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, let's see. Sylvia says, hand, qu hand quilting a quilt, the free snowflake quilt. From Fat Quarter Shop. Oh, that's cool. Andrea says our power has been off. All I have, all I have been working on is trying to stay warm. Yeah, I've had no heat since yesterday here. Uh, Awkward says I have a few ongoing projects as well as learning new techniques. No, no new projects until old ones are completed. Tangle says I am sorting my stuff, and then I started a brand new quilt on Saturday. Oops, what's the name of it? Tangle says. Jean says I'm working on my challenge quilt. Quarterly quilt along, three, 366 days of stitches, a crochet pattern I'm designing. 
a block of the month. I'm designing needle books. And would you like me to continue? Sure, share what you're doing. Brandy oh says gosh. now one away. Oh, Brandy <laughs> says now I'm one away. Thank you, Brandy. Sylvia says, Andrea, you need two sources of heat. I live in Alaska. Tangle says, I was only going to work on my UFOs, but this fabric, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> yeah, we all uh, know how that see. goes. <laughs> and if you are not subscribed to Donnell's channel, let's share some love because we all are a part of a tribe. And go hit, jump on and her link and subscribe to her channel and help her out too. And for every 100 subscribers I get, I do a giveaway on my channel of either something I've made or a fabric or a mystery bags. Whatever I feel like giving away. Like yesterday I did a mystery bag as well as um as well as a wall hanging I made. That sounds like fun. As soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I'm doing one of a quilt kit. What quilt kit was you planning on giving? Or is that a secret? Um, It's actually one I got from Missouri Star a couple years ago. And let me grab it out real quick. I can't remember what it is either offhand. <laughs> so right now I'm adding half triangles onto a square. Because I'm going to be making a square in a square. Oh, it's actually in one of my other bins. I'll have to get it later or something. Oh, okay. For now, we'll call it a mystery quilt kit. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Hey, yep. Yeah. yeah, all I can remember is that it was like the really like auburn, rustic, reds and browns type of color mm -hmm. scheme and it's a queen mm -hmm. size quilt oh nice it's one i was gonna do for me and the husband and i decided i no longer have interest in that one so i decided to just gonna gift it to somebody that would love to have it so and what better way to do that than through my channel mm-hmm Give it, give it a, I'm, uh, balance is I'm testing out a new quilting tool. What quilting tool are you testing out? Hey, Joyce, how are you? Hey, what did you see Joyce at? Hey, Joy T, how are you? Hey, Fallon, I want to get up with you because I think there's one of your rulers I might, maybe you could bring with you to QuiltCom that I can buy from you. He says, I want one of those, uh, that, you know, that ruler you were using the other day for um, when you were quilting your quilt? I want one of those. Just one, though. I can't. Yeah. So maybe we can talk about it when you have a chance. That way I can just get it from you while I'm in the States. Joyce says, I volunteer to test tools for you. I will volunteer. I volunteer <laughs> to test tools for you anytime, Fallon. Sylvie says, being cold is miserable. Hope it gets better. Denise says, not working on anything as yet. Just enjoy watching and listening. Aww, and thank Joyce you. says, hi, beautiful ladies. And Jean says, wouldn't we all joy? Yeah, I would love to test run things. Yes. That would be fun. Especially quality yeah. things. I used to do, I used to be a tester for cro a couple of crochet designers, and I loved doing that. She always got to see, you know, what you, what was going to be made long before they got the pattern out for everybody to, you know, start doing it. Yeah. I'm always so jealous of everybody that gets to test out the patterns and see them before anybody else. Yeah. But, but I haven't been a quilt tester not... at all. 
I'll say, but at the same time, I'm also not a very fast sewer, so I wouldn't be good at quilt testing if you want it done fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm not hand my I'm not handmade by Ying, Madonna, or Tiffany Fast, so <laughs> Tiffany's amazing. I swear, I don't know when in the world those two girls have a time to sleep. She can she can think think uh create something right on the fly. It's totally amazing. I mean, I can usually try and recreate a few different things or come up with something different as I go, but it's mm -hmm. usually something I got to be like inspired as I go along yeah. or like, okay, I'm like, that looks good for the, with a pattern, but what if I do this? Yeah. If you guys hear any birds in the background, sorry, my guys like to be noisy sometimes. I barely hear them. Okay. I'll oh, say it's the two little ones right now that are chirping. The big boy hasn't started in yet. He's just standing here staring at me. Uh, talk to me. Pay attention to me. I need the attention. He's like, Mom, why are you keep talking over at the sun machine? Why are you not over here petting me and giving me food and... <laughs> And spoiling me. Okay, Fallon says she may have to mail it to Becca because I couldn't make it to QuiltCon. Oh, I thought she was coming to QuiltCon. My bad. Um, maybe we could talk it. Uh, okay. when's a good time to send you an email? Or what? <laughs> Because people tend to not answer emails around here. Hey, I do. I didn't say you. <laughs> I'll say I do. It might take me a day or two, but I do. When a content creator tells you to email them and then they don't answer you. Kind of, it kind of um, makes me a little feisty. Because it's not just content creators that do this. They don't answer their phone. So they tell you, well, just send me a text message. You send them a text message. They don't answer your text message. Then they say, send you an email. You send them an email. They don't answer the email. So you go around this vicious circle for weeks before you finally get anywhere and get something accomplished. We've had this problem here with these contractors with our house it's just about drove me insane so are you guys actually about placing the window or are you just boarding out the window and making it to a solid we wall? are we are going to make it a solid wall i told nikolai that i didn't feel comfortable to trust the neighbor not to let that happen again so no window on that side of the house it's too bad because i liked having light coming morning light coming through that window yeah. But I just can't have glass. I just can't have that happening again. No, I mean, this is crazy. It traumatized so. me enough. It's, it's, uh, it uh, stirred up something that I didn't know was going to get stirred up. And, and now it's going to, I don't know when the thing that it stirred up is going to stop. Had, had nightmares in a long time and now I'm back to having them. Just try, God, try to stay focused on the positive. You can't control what you dream unconsciously. Believe me, I understand. I understand. Because somebody else tried to tell me that, and I'm like, you don't understand because of past history, you know, and I had been a long time without having nightmares. And then this just was like a bomb, bam. And I guess that's part of PTSD, you know, you just, I always try to ignore most of it, but when it affects my sleeping, that's a problem. And I've been having nightmares, so that's not cool. So, Joydy, I am working on that pineapple quilt. I am determined. If it kills me, I'm going to get this done before next weekend so we can do something else. Like jump back over on the lion or do another tutorial because I got a few requests. 
So, so I am trying my best to get this uh, pineapple quilt done so that way that I can get it bound and delivered to its its owner. Kelly says it's minus one degree Celsius in the sun at 117 in the afternoon. That is 29 degrees Fahrenheit or 30. I think it might be 29 or 30. Yeah. You know what the temperature has been here in Fahrenheit? <laughs> we well, right now it is and it's uh, 723 my time, which is in the evening. And our temperature here is 34 degrees. But our lake, it's been raining, and uh, our lake looks like it's thawing because we've had uh, above freezing now for over two weeks. And then day before yesterday, for four or five days ahead of that, we were having 45 degree temperatures here at the lake. We have no snow on the ground. I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow showing um, what it looks like around town with no snow, with hardly any snow anywhere. and. I got some good pictures today of the sky and cloud doing something strange. It was really interesting what it what the uh, winds was doing up in the clouds. It was doing funny. It was like the wind was doing two different directions or something. Okay, Brandy says you are warmer than Texas. Texas yeah, actually warmer. got snow today. Yeah, we're warmer than a lot of people in the United States. I know you're warmer than where I'm at in Michigan. Greenland like shouldn't be warmer than you guys. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. I'm like, this is insane. My brothers have more. My brothers in Tennessee have more snow than what I do here in Michigan. This is insane. It's just like not even, not even real. Yeah, but you know, I don't know what it's going to take for people to start really paying attention to. And understanding that our weather really is changing. I don't know how the, I don't know how um our home country, you know, our country affords all of the money that goes out to fix damage from bad storms. I don't know. This my brother cool. works. My brother works for uh oh well, the oldest one of my two younger brothers. He uh works for a company called TVA. And in the mm -hmm. South, they do like a lot of the repairs and the cleanup and stuff like that, stuff like that from the really bad storms. And he has been uh, busy doing that for like the last, I don't know, couple of years now. So anytime they get bad tornadoes or storms, hurricanes or anything like that, he's one of the ones that goes out and re puts up the light poles and get everything turned back on for people and stuff like that. Well, from what I could tell about the weather, the polar vor what what's happened is the polar vortex divided into two. And so the first, the once the one that split, the, they split in half. So you got two circles going on. The one is sitting over the top of the United States. The other one is sitting over the top of Europe. And Greenland is in between these two polar vortexes getting all y'all's warm air. Well, can you please send that right back? Because I'm we're really tired of not having it. What? We want, we want our heat back. Send it back. I, when I was up at the store today, because I went up to the store and uh, also went to get something to eat. And I ran into one of my friends or one of my fellow uh, Greenlanders who gardens. And he looks at me and he says... Are you feeling like it's spring like I am? I said, yeah, my brain is totally toast right now because it's thinking, oh, look, it's springtime. Let's go outside and dig in the dirt. Because <laughs> <laughs> literally the ground is not frozen right now. And the urge to go outside is super strong. You know, go out and pre-clean pre everything up. Yeah, garden. I don't look forward to that. I look forward to when the flowers start blooming and everything starts looking yeah. more alive out there. I don't look forward to when it's time to do cleanup from the winter. If you wake up later, come back, Teresa. Thank you for hanging out with me, though. I need to get another moderator. I only have one or two moderators. Want to be a moderator? Sure. Okay, I'll add you. Um, and... Uh,
when we're not live. Yeah. Hi, Deb. <laughs> How's it going? Are you cold where you are? So everybody post what your temperature is where you are and also where you are. Let's see how many of you are below freezing or right at freezing and who's not freezing. Well, I'm freezing. What's your temperature there? It was like 10 degrees a little while ago. Ouch, that is cold. That's in the teens. That's that's cold teens. Yeah, it's well let's see. Last night it was zero. So you're below zero, Deb? And tell me where you're at. My rabbits are having babies at the end of the month, so I hope it warms up a bit for them. I hope so too, Andrea. Candace says I can help be moderator. Okay, I'll um let me write this down because I will forget if I don't. Let me get a pen and let's write these down. So I need a couple moderators to help me. Yeah, I just had some I people that volunteer yesterday. I, so yeah. I hadn't really thought about it, but it would make it easier if I had somebody helping with some of the channel stuff, like posting links. Yeah. Okay, so Candace said she was a game. Your game. Yeah, because I need help just posting links and stuff like that. We don't have any bad people coming in that oh, I've yeah. seen. But it will help post channels. So Kathy says it's two degrees in northeast Kansas. No, thank you. 59 degrees. In, oh, wow. It is chilly in Atlanta. That means my son's cold where he's at. Deb says it's minus two down. Feels like minus 19 in eastern Iowa. I heard Iowa was going to be super frosty. And did people get out to vote today? Inquiring minds want to know. Or did they stay home and not chance the blizzards? Hey, Nobody says about? at home. She says she's at home. It's 34 degrees, but I'm traveling right now. So 74 degrees where she's at. Nice. 20 degrees now and 2 degrees tonight, Brandy says, in Amarillo, Texas. Um, can you... Can you post um, Donnell's link again? Please. 57 degrees in California. And post strong, Teresa. Party please. Party please. The sugar on top. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a goofy mood right now. No, it's okay. You lighten my spirit. Joy says it's 58 in North Carolina. Tangle says it's 54 degrees or 12 Celsius in Northern California. That's not too terribly bad. Deb says the news interviewed people and they all said they were going to vote. Yeah, I saw last night a lot of them said they were going to go, even if it was. Did you see where Montana had minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday? That is Ooh. flipping cold. Yeah. I can't even imagine. The only time I see it that cold here is when we get a wind, the phone wind, which comes from the north, and it will uh -huh. drop it to like minus 50 here. And you can tell because when your dogs don't want to go outside because the wind hurts their feet, you know yeah. it's too cold. That's how it was here um, Saturday and yesterday. It was so cold. My dogs... We're like, no, we'd much rather just get punished for messing in the house because we're not doing it. Teresa, can you post Donnell? It's exclamation Donnell. And also, can you post your link? See, she heard me that time. Thank you, Candice. Yep, that helps. And then uh, someone... If you'll do, it's a uh, exclamation Teresa Louise. If you're not just uh, um, subscribed to Teresa's, make sure you trot on over there and, and uh, subscribe to her channel too. 
please. Alaska says minus 47. Wow, that's cold. Minus 47 in Alaska. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Thank you, got both of you. Let me see here. <laughs> Joyce says, wow, they can keep that. I like it cold and I need to move. Wow. Yeah, I'm always telling the husband, I, I would love to move somewhere that's warmer and everything. But at the same time, I don't want to be away from my boys. So being warm isn't all it's cracked up to be. I grew all of my life in Florida. Well, I grew up yeah. in Tennessee, so I like warmer weather than Michigan. So in August and September, it gets so hot. You can barely breathe because of the humidity. Yeah, I've heard Florida can get really brutal. Yep. It's no fun in August and September. Y'all don't forget to answer the poll if you haven't answered it. And if, if your answer is more than the bottom question option then just select the bottom one yeah select the bottom one because it wouldn't let me add another one where i could just put more i didn't know there was a limit on how many you could put on the list katie you don't have yeah i have nightbot wait you don't have nightbot locked down to just your moderators Teresa can take a nap oh okay then you so that means any well you guys still have to know what the commands are though right Katie what are you working on I am working on my blue of my village green which Village Green is one of my UFOs, and so this is the first, this is one of the UFOs I intend on finishing by the end of January, so that's what I'm working on right now. I have this clue and one more to go, and then I can start putting it together. And I am finishing up on, well, hopefully finishing up shortly, on a quote that I've been working on on my channel. Andrea says, same with Texas, hot, humid, and hurricane weather. You know, I don't really worry so much about hurricanes. It's the heat that drives me up the wall. Jean says, gotta run. All these UFOs are screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jean. Okay, awkward. All right, then I'll, yeah, um. I have quite a few, like uh, Donnell's channels on the bot, uh, a few of them on the bot. But I, I have to go look at the other laptop to see them all. I made a list. See if you can get any, see if anything happens if you put exclamation mark PMQ. See if it gives us a link. Because I don't know if I put that one in there or not. I just cut butter borders to sew and I'm waiting for batting. Oh, cool, Mona. Awesome sauce. Joy T says, oh my God, too many hurricane and tornado warrants. Yeah, see, I don't care to, to experience a tornado. Tornadoes are not fun. I grew up around them in Tennessee oh. all the time. Oh, look, that, I did have that link in there. Awesome. So we've got the cotton cuts in there. So I'm I'm working on one of my PMQ cotton cuts UFOs, which is Village Green Begonia. Party, party. So we're coming along on that. I cannot wait for my PMQ to get start getting delivered. You're going to be a first timer, aren't you? I am. I'm doing the small purple mist and I'm going to be doing the entire thing on my channel, on my live streams. That's awesome. 
I'm doing two of them again. Well, I must be insane. Anybody wants a slow pace uh, learning, then come hang out. <laughs> Stay tuned over the next couple of weeks. I'll be posting some uh, pre-recorded unboxed mail openings. I got a couple. Well, I have three boxes from Missouri Star. Uh, and probably before it's over with, I'll have four from uh, Fat Quarter Shop. Awesome sauce. Because I needed some extra. I had to order some things that I noticed that I had ran out of. Awkward says Donnell, you, Mona, Janice are all are and I are for you signed up too, Awkward. Oh, that's awesome. So which uh colorway did you sign up for? Um Awkward. And what colorway did you sign up for, Mona? And what colorway did you... Is Janice in here? Okay, anybody that signed up for PMQ, post in the chat what you guys signed up for. What colorway? Yeah, way? what colorway? Be interesting to find out who's all doing what. Is Janice in the channel? This will be my first PMQ. Nervous about... PMQ doesn't have foundation paper piecing. There's Ooh, no paper choice. piecing. Good choice, Lisa. Large olive grove. Yeah, that was a nice colorway. Yeah, I was in between that one and the purple mist and purple being one of my favorite colors and I it, it won me over. I couldn't help it. I want to see how Tree of Life PMQ starts up. Not me, just nosy. <laughs> okay, Sylvia. Yeah, Jen, is she in the channel? Do you know what she signed up for? Um, I don't I know mean, what, what she signed up for. What colorway she's doing? I do not. Serenity, okay. I. She's going to be a guest on my channel, you guys. Well, then I guess, I guess that's going to have to be a question you ask her. Yep, I will be asking her that. Definitely. Like, I'm you know, also... a little birdie told us. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, you could be like, well, a little birdie told us that you signed up and we want to know. Yep. Like, your public wants to know. <laughs> It's just regular piece in Joy Tea. There is no paper piecing whatsoever in it. It's all pre-cut, and all you do is follow the instructions on how to sew it together. And each month you'll get a, a new clue along with your pieces. And you just follow the this is this is what the instructions look like. This is the front page. So this is my clue eight. And this is what it looks like. And here, let me explain how this works. So when you finish putting the clues together, that's what they're going to look like right here for that clue for clue eight. Down here, this tells you how many of each pre-cut piece that you should have. And then on the back, let's see. It'll start with the section that you're doing, and then it'll walk you through what pieces you're sewing together. And then you'll, um, and if you're making... With clue eight, looks like I'm only going to have a, just a four um, finished pieces. For section eight, there won't be an A or B, but some clues will have A, and some clues will have A and B, okay? So, and that's what the back looks like. So, there's definitely no paper piecing. Yeah, if you, wanted, if you want good examples and everything, then check out uh, the guy who sews. Uh, with Sean, or see Sean over at the guy who sews. Um, see, so Becca does hers a lot on Friday nights, and I also have written blogs about it over on my um Live, Living Greenland uh blog on WordPress. So I'll I don't think I have that link in the blog. I don't know. Let me. Yeah, I didn't know if you had any recordings of it or not. So I don't know. Let me look and see if I have it on my. It's a writing. It's a blog. 
Let me see. I don't know if I put my web page on here or not. Uh, Greenland Culture Facebook. So there's a lot of content creators that got a lot of their videos out there of it. So of them putting it together. Nora, what are you doing? Sorry. Oh, no problem. And it's like, who are you yelling at? <laughs> no, it's, I'm, she's uh, scratching the carpet for some reason. Hey, guys, Craft 2, how are you doing? Oh, I don't have it on here. I'll have to add it later. I have to go chase the link down. Hi, Glenda. Hello, guys, Craft 2, how you doing? Thank you for coming to the channel. Over here. She's got her butt between me and my foot pedal again. <laughs> she wants to be right beside her mama. She's taking her head and rubbing it on my foot. She must need her ears rubbed. <laughs> Forcing mama to pat her no matter whether you want to or not. <laughs> like, listen, you're going to pat me. That's just how it's going to be. It's because Bubba's sick and she knows Bubba's sick and it's like I pay attention because he won't he's not wanting to play with me. <laughs> Jordy, I promise I will not start without you. Let me know when you get yours and we will do it together. So is anyone in here doing secret garden? It's okay, you're not late, Glenda. And now y'all going to hear Quasar because now he wants to join in. Opera says, got to go. Unlike Donnell, some of us are working today. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault if my work wants to give me a page eight off. Yeah, that's Martin Luther King holiday. Hey, yup. Funny part is my husband had to work. Poor guy. I mean, we all work from home at, in my house, so that's good. So, I mean, it's like technically all you had to do is go downstairs to the office. So, but still, I mean, he didn't get like the day to relax and sleep in or anything like that. So it's taking them all day to put that boiler, take the old boiler out to put the new one in. And he told me when I talked to him earlier today around, I don't know, about four o'clock my time, our time. Uh -huh. He says, um, I won't have time to um, reset your water lines of your flooring. I'll have to do it tomorrow to get the air out of the lines. Yeah. So that probably means that the floor will not probably work tonight once he gets the boiler running. So I I didn't have I haven't had any heat in my house since day before yesterday because oh my when gosh I, when I woke up and walked into the bathroom and my feet hit hit the tile and I'm like uh oh the boiler's off and I went out there to see what was going on it looked like I needed to put some water add some water into the line so I did that. And then I um I reset it and tried to get it to fight you know fire you know make ignite so that it can heat the water and it didn't do anything so I'm like hmm am I out of fuel see we've been waiting we we're trying to get our fuel tank low enough because we're replacing our tank and we don't fuel is not cheap. And I don't want to waste any more fuel than we have to to do this switch over to a new tank. So I went to I took I have a stick that I can stick the tank with. So I uh -huh. stick the tank in. I stick the tank and I'm like, I still have plenty of fuel. So why won't it ignite? So I went back in there, re turned it off, turned it back on, reset the switch. Nothing. No heat. Does it have a pilot? Uh no, it has a, this switch that uh should yeah maybe it does have a pilot light but not exactly 
because there's a switch that tells it when to ignite the fire. Okay. It's like it doesn't a pilot doesn't like run run. No, I'm just curious well, if it had a spot that you actually had a light yourself if it goes out or no, like, I, like, I, how, like a gas it, furnace does or something? No, it's not like that. There's an okay. igniter switch. You can reset the whole system by turning it on and off. And then you press this button and the button is supposed to reignite it. And oh. when I was pressing the button, nothing was happening. So I'm like, uh-oh. You're like, it has finally bit the dust. And You're we've like, been waiting and waiting. Anybody home? <laughs> we've been waiting since the uh, second week in November to get the David Cap said, Oh, we're gonna come in November. They didn't come in November. Then when they said they were gonna come in December, they didn't come in December. And then the first two first week in January, they told Nikolai, Oh, we'll be over there this week. They never showed up. Oh, nice. So when so finally the boiler just kapoop. And I've been two days without heat. But it hadn't been bad because it's only like 36 degrees outside today and yesterday. Bye, Mona. See you later, Mona. And um, I do have a really, it's a very small electric heater. But it will keep the north side of the house semi-warm. But if the wind came, I would lose. It would be like frosty in here. Oh wow! Because well, my the nor I, whole north north side of my house faces that that area where when that phone wind happens, yeah, it slams right into it. Well, I guess right now it's a good thing since your heater is out that it's not your normal temperatures. Yep. And it's probably making it easier for the guys to get that thing in there because there's no snow on the ground. Oh uh, yeah. What the world is going on with my automatic threader? Come on. If there I won go. lottery in time and dollars, I'd want Secret Garden, Sylvia says. Secret Garden sold out. Unless they got some more. I have to go to, Kelly says, See you, see you all around. If anyone's interested in a Christmas quilt collab, I just put a video up. Okay, Kelly. Looking forward to our uh, sewing together too. By the way, Kelly and I are going to be sewing together too. I am trying to get as me as, as busy as I can get before I leave for my trip. Yeah, I'm just trying to get as many of my projects that I already have in the makings. Uh, whether no matter whether they're just the fabric is cut or pattern is printed or whatnot and everything, trying to get I got roughly about six to eight projects I'm trying to get taken care of this year, and trying to do this without starting up anything else new. Sylvia says, "No more just dreaming." Okay, so let's see what else we can ask them about. What can we ask? Them? You got a question you want to ask them? Then Say we can what get now? everybody's input. Yeah, because I want to keep the channel uh, moving. Let me see here. What can we ask? It doesn't let's have to be see. all. What is everybody's favorite fabric to to quilt with? If you can, if you could have whether it be in a brand or a type of fabric. To quilt with, what would your be your first pick? I know what mine would be. <laughs> mine would be petite. And I bet everybody else knows what it would be too. Mine would I probably be miss... Island Batiks. Yeah, I love Batiks. I am missing my design board. I can tell you that. My design board is me putting it on the piece of paper and hoping and praying I get it put together properly. That's my design board. I, we When we reset my sewing room, we set a whole wall aside for a, my design board. Oh, and wow. So I can hang up more than one thing up there if I wanted to. And I don't have nothing in here. 
Joy says for her it would be batiks. Sylvia says cotton. Joy, why do you like batiks over cotton? And Sylvia, why do you like cotton over batiks? Sylvia says cotton or batik. Yep, I see that. Come on, you guys, talk to us. Says we got All 22 right. in here watching. Yep. Come on, peoples. We know you're more than just Joyity and Sylvia in here. Yep. Everyone talks about batiks and Tula, but I have never experienced either of them. I like cotton. Ah, interesting. You know what I remember from school when I was in uh South, when I was in elementary school in South Florida? I don't What's remember that? which grade which grade I was in, but we did a um a fatigue dying in in one of my art classes, and I at the time I didn't know that's what that was, but it was oh, a lot wow. of fun because I came because we painted wax we dyed the fabric, and then we painted wax on it, and then added another color over the top of that, and then put wax on in spots on it too, and it ended up where we had psychedelic colors going on. Oh, awesome. Tangle says, says, I have to stop sewing to talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's sewing. Katie, see my question above. Joy asked a question. Joy says, I just love prints. There is a fly in the house. See, that means it's too warm outside. Intermittent ignite. Oh, Sylvia answered that question about the um igniter. She says it's intermittent ignition light. Ah, oh, okay. What that's called. See, I didn't know what it was called. See, I came from Florida. We didn't have that kind of boiler system. Okay, Jordy said, Katie, when will you start PMQ? In March when you get back from vacation? Where where was this at? That was up before right with that was right before Mona said goodbye. When will you start PMQ in March? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I I can tell you that I ordered. I paid for a full kit for my um, um. Uh, My secret garden, however, the um, hope one is by the month. So I don't know. I It may be that I won't get March's done at all unless I take March with me. I could take March with me and do it at Christine's house because I'm going to be. Oh, I have a piece of a little bit, bit of news for you guys. Ooh, tell. My friend Christine, who is a PMQ person that I made friends with she lives just outside of Atlanta which some some of you who live in Georgia know who I'm talking about um she has a 12 foot long arm and she told me that I could learn how to use it while I was when I because we're going to spend a couple of weeks up there with her so I can see her and my son at the same time and she told me that she would show me how to use it. Oh, so what do you awesome. guys think about that? Maybe I can make a video of me learning how to use it. That would be awesome. That would be a good way of doing like a live stream. Yeah, that would be a great time to do a live stream. That's right. Say, so, Because you were talking about not being able to really get to me live streams and everything. You could definitely do something like that or even do like shop hops. <laughs> Yeah, I did, I definitely want to do a, 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 a I'm thinking about doing a, a shop hop for sure since I'll be in both state three states. But um, yep. the reason I didn't think I would be doing a live in the I don't want to do a live in quilt con because every time I've ever seen lives with people in quilt shows, 
is so pixelated and so bad that you can't actually enjoy the quilt show because it goes in and out. And I want to document the quilt show by doing pre, by recording it and then bringing it home and splitting them. You know, I'll do them in pieces and then yeah, I'll figure out how like long how, to make uh, each video. Yeah, something yeah. like how uh, Sean had done of those 100 quilts or whatnot. Yeah, split them into pieces and spread them out over time. Yeah, of honoring like one quilt on each video or two quilts or something like that with a little bit of a story behind it. Yep. Yeah, I like that Tangle idea. Says, Tangle says she also likes novelty fabrics if they make me laugh. And Tangle says, like my span fabric. You must have got that from So Yeah. I still have to make something with it. And Glenda says, I like anything I can sew as long as my machine will sew it. I agree. Do you have things that your machine won't sew? I personally don't. And that's mainly because I got multiple machines. Because I have my workhorse here, which is my Juki HDL F600, which I love tremendously. And then I also have an off-brand um, industrial machine. So anything that my Juki won't handle, then that will. What Juki do you have? I got the HCL F600. Hi, Nelly. Ah, Glenda hey, says Nelly. knits. Knits are pain to sew. You have to, you have to be careful with knits, and you use the right the kind right, of needle and everything. So you just gotta have the right needle on the right foot and use the right stitch. Yep. I've actually tried and looked up how, on what all I needed because I was, because I have made myself a pair of stretchy pants before. Hi, oh. Frank from Florida. They were supposed to have been pants, but they wound up being capris because mm -hmm. I didn't have enough yardage. So, Frank, what's the temperature where you're at? Because it looks like Florida was going to get some of that Arctic blast, too. It's bad when it gets cold like that in Florida. There's going to be yeah. lots of... There's going to be lots of plant damage, just like in Texas. Yep, a lot of crops lost. Not just crops. Ornamentals are going to be hurt by it, too. Oh, definitely. I couldn't get over the amount of palm trees that died in Texas the last time they got snow. There was a boat, a oh, ton of them. See, North Florida has palm trees that are... um can tolerate up to 18 hours of minus below zero freezing. And then after the 18 hours, they start showing damage. That is correct, Andrea. To need a ballpoint needle for uh, yep. for a done stretch. Yep. I learned that's the hard way. I used to make my own clothes, so I know about knits. Sounds like my guys are downstairs working on the bedroom right now. Got a complete remodel going on in my basement. I did a master uh, master bedroom and suite. And we got the bathroom done today. Oh, nice. Hey, yep. So, Frank, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I was just saying, yep. So, Frank says it's 71 now. But that's going to change. What are they expecting you to drop down? Where you're at, what are you expected to drop down to? Because they're saying this is going to be around for a, a week at least. Before it uh, comes apart and moses it back way north again. Going to get cold later this week. Okay, and, Nell and Nellie, as long as you're here while we're still alive, you are not late. 
Yep, you're never late. You showed up. That's that's the main thing. And even if we're not still live, as long as you watch the replay, you're still not late. <laughs> yep, exactly. I'm going to have to figure out how I can feed Nora so that Coda doesn't know I'm feeding her because I'm fasting him. I don't want to put anything in his belly that's going to make things worse on the other end. Oh, definitely. But yeah, he is probably... drinking. He's drinking, so at least he's doing that. Now, is he throwing up or is it all coming out the no, other end? It's just all coming out the other end. Okay. So at least he's not throwing up, so you don't. Uh, that's good. No, I would. That would freak me out if I was having to clean up puke along with all that blood. Yeah, I wouldn't get too much when I walked some in details there, over the stream, though. I was, I, I was uh, asleep yesterday, and I thought I, and I had hadn't been awake very long, and I'm like, that sounded like liquid that hit the floor, and I thought maybe he had vomited. And then when I walked in there, I almost fell over what I saw all over the floor. That poor baby. I'm like, oh my, I'm like, oh my God. I've never seen so much of that kind of thing before come from a dog. That poor baby. You can tell he's, he don't feel well. When I looked at his eyes last night, the whites of his eyes are all red and I thought maybe he was dehydrated, but he's drinking, so it must be all the loss of the stuff. Gonna get colder later this week. Glenn says, got it, got some on my, on the way. Andrea. Oh, Hi, Mary G. No, he says, thank you. I'm always behind. Hey, Mary G. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next part is that I got to do. So now we got that square and a black. Okay, now we got to do B and D. So here's B. Oh, man. Did you make a mistake? Yes. Time for Jack. Oh, Jack's going to be coming out. I don't see any way out of this. I'm going to hold off on that one for a second. Yeah. Dag, burn it. Let's see. I got to make sure I turn these darn triangles in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, that's what um, I did wrong. Because if I don't, I'm going to be in big trouble. Yeah, see, my my black uh -huh. cube should have been over here on this side. Uh-oh. I just yep. went to go put You be in trouble. I just went to go put the green to the green, and I'm like, uh-oh. There's no green to put to the green. Frank says it's only 50 for a high for Wednesday. 50 is not too terribly bad for a high. But what happens after dark it is going to be the problem. Right. When you have 50 as a high, we know it's going to probably get a, either a 42 degrees or... Hey, Frank, you know what my temperature is right now? It's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So there. <laughs> but I think the weather's going to change because I've been noticing my asthma has been a little flared up. Pastry Queen, how are you? He's not. Okay, so those two guys come apart. 
This one can go together. I just got in my sewing room to start a sample school. It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, my God. That's, yep, that's cool. Nora, stop. Nosy butt. I'll put these two together, and then I'm yeah, and then I'm pulling out Jack to take care of the other ones. Dash burn it. That happens from time to time, unfortunately. Hey, pastry queen, how you doing, Leanna? Unless she was talking about your dog. Let's see. Good what? evening, ladies. I hope the doggy is doing well. I just got in my sewing room to start a sample quilt. It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Burr. Yes, definitely burr. Now, hey, Leanna, were you talking about my dog, Loki, or were you talking about the dog of uh, Katie's that we were just talking about? Just so that right. we know Welcome who to back, answer. Teresa. That was a short nap. You missed us, didn't you? Yeah, she couldn't stay away. That's okay. <laughs> oh, my back. Back, back. Back again. <laughs> I can't imagine your sewing room being that cold, though. That would be freaky. I cannot have my sewing room cold at all because I got the birds in here. So I don't mind it being 50 degrees in this house, but I would mind it being 20 degrees. But if I didn't know better, I'd say the boiler is making the floor heat up because the house seems warmer right now than it was earlier. You want to come over here and say hi to everybody? So they may have got the boiler complete, the new boiler completely up. Camera's right here. My youngest one is in the room. You guys want to say hi? I need you all. What's the bot doing? <laughs> that is my youngest baby. Hello, young man. That's Cameron. He's got his. He's actually got his own YouTube channel, which is Retro Cam. So, what's it about? Video gaming. Oh, then you need to hit my son up because my son likes to game. <laughs> yeah, he loves getting on there and doing like Call of Duty and Modern Warfare and whatever else. Oh, he's well, really big. In, he's really big <laughs> into like Sonic and Mario Brothers. So oh. is my kids Sorry, and grands. Wait a minute. Let's see. You getting ready to head off? Yeah, what did you do? Okay. What did you there type you out that the bot went off? I thought I had that sucker turned off where it wouldn't do that. See, it says message deleted by Nightbot. View. Oh, I can view what it deleted. Hang on a minute. Hey, yeah. Let me see what it. My brother in PA is at 19 degrees. Why did it delete that? That's stupid. Weird. Yeah, because he says my brother in PA is at 19 Fahrenheit. How do you, you make know, it? Nightbot has its issues at times. It's not always the most reliable. How do you um undo it, or can you undo it? Um, you would have had to go in there and remove whatever it is telling and everything um from the restrictions. It would be uh -oh. in the restrictions section. I can't remember exactly what what it would be under. I'll have to look it up and and let and message you later about it. Yeah, because I don't know how to undo it when it does that. Uh, it's probably Teresa, a word. It's probably a single solitary word in there that it flagged that caused the whole have. thing. Maybe it was the PA dot thing. I don't know. It's uh, a possibility. Teresa, Who knows? Teresa says she didn't get a nap because Brandon started hammering. What dag burn ham? And Pastry says both your dogs. So she's talking about both our dogs. Okay. My dog's not. You tell her about your dog. Okay, so Loki is doing really good. He actually came out with the, the from the vet office yesterday with a really good bill of health. The only thing we can figure is whatever it was I was thought I seen in his diapers that I thought was blood it was just dirt or something that was transferred from outside onto him when he went outside. 
Um, other than that, we don't know what was going on because all of his blood work and urine work came back perfectly beautiful. Um, they said that they just need me to start feeding him three to four times a day instead of the, the normal two times a day because he was losing too much weight since we had to change his diet to high protein, low fat. So. What she likes Call of Duty. So does Nikolai. Well, there's I one will... game, There's huh? one game I wish he would never play, and that's Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, that I've one never really been a makes him that feisty. One. Yeah, that one makes him feisty. He says the game cheats. I'm like, how does a game cheat? Well, I mean, it is a game about stealing and robbing and beating up people and stuff like that. So, I mean, <laughs> why would a game that is encouraging all this bad behavior not cheat? I mean, come on now. Teresa says she doesn't know why the bot did that. Because I thought I turned off that thing where it wouldn't silence people when they used big emojis or whatever. Yeah, who knows? You know, Nightbot does its own thing sometimes. I wish I could set it on auto mode where it can share links. You're not going to get anywhere with me doing that, Nora. It's like, pay attention to me, mommy. You're teaching you. And now you guys will probably never, ever meet my my oldest son. And that is because he's camera shy. He doesn't like being on camera. Like, if I have him hold up my quilts to take a picture of it, he'll hide behind it. Well, that's because he, he, he don't want to be in the picture. Well, he doesn't like being in pictures at all. He doesn't even like people taking pictures at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's probably because he doesn't want pictures made of him. Yep. Certain pictures, I don't, I, I, like, I have no problem with that. It's like, everybody's got their own thing. But whenever it comes to, like, certain pictures, like family pictures and all, no, no, you're required to be in it. I can tell <laughs> you that I was, I've gone through a lot of pictures over the last few years. I haven't got all of them out of storage yet, but I'm going to. And there's countless pictures of me hiding behind other people. So I know I did that a lot. I was always the one sticking my tongue out at people. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have stuck my tongue out at people, I'd have gotten it smacked off. I always either stuck my tongue out or, or if it was like friends with pit or pictures with friends, then I'd stick up my middle finger. I was always crazy and obnoxious in my younger days. You see what Joy says? I play backgammon online and I believe it's fixed at times, even when I win. <laughs> yeah it's fits enough to keep you coming back i play solitaire all the time and i think every now and then i come across a game where i don't no matter i'll re you know keep starting over because i end up the same ending where i can't do anything i'm stuck and i'll do it I'll, i have done it like repeated five or six times and it's the same way even though i did it different way and sometimes I think that's a test to see if you can actually crack that particular one. Yeah. Because I, I bet that the design, the coders who code these games may put stuff in there to see if someone could crack. Did you see where a 13 year old cracked Tetris? Are you serious? Yeah, he cracked it. Now, all these years, Tetris has been active, and this 13 year old cracked it. It, it was in the news on PBS and on, on NBC about him doing that. Yeah, see, I don't watch much the news. So I watch it for the weather and that's about it. I'm like, They're anything else is just, channel. you know what? I'm like, they never have anything positive to say. So they're the only two channels I keep up with over here because they're, they're, they stay the most accurate. Yeah. Especially PBS. I just don't really watch news much because of the fact that, like, I get the news alerts on my phone, so I read the articles, 
but as far as watching news, I don't really do much of that. I don't do a whole lot of watching TV except for like at, in the evenings when the family and I get together to sit down at night to watch a movie together. I think um, I really binge don't watch, watch TV. But I only watch news once once a day, and that's at night before I go to bed. Yeah. We used to watch okay. news a lot more, but it just became so stressful that we don't really do it anymore. Ouch. Keep what did you do? Knee. Oh, I keep popping my knee on the side of this desk. Well, you probably shouldn't do that. Oh, I know. <laughs> it it has drawers on the left. You know, in the US the drawers are usually on your right. And your and your legs free on the left. But they this desk has it on the left. And so I'm always catching my knee on it. Oh nice. Ha, no. Works. The baby bug in you? Yeah. And I know if I put her in with Coda, she's going to try to get him to play, and he's not up for it. Yeah. That's probably... Gonna Maybe be she's acting like this because she knows he doesn't feel well. Maybe that's why she's acting like this. That's a possibility. We have a problem, I can tell you that. I haven't had time to find another puppy yet to um, get in his house before we lose him. And it may turn out that we lose him before I even have a chance to get a puppy. Hey, which is going to suck for her because she sle she sleeps on top of him and spoons with him and everything, you know, they do they do together. And she and the only reason I know it's going to be a problem is because one day Hanifa came by the house and said, I want to take Coda for a walk, but I don't want to take Nora with me. I'm like, okay. She was gone an hour and a half with Coda, and the whole time Coda was gone, Nora sat on the bed howling and panting. Aww. Poor baby. And she didn't stop howling until he walked back in the door. And then it was like her chortling all over him like he had left her for a long time <laughs> or something. It was so I know she's very attached to him. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's a part of our pack member, so. Yep. That's why they act the way they do when Nikolai comes home. Yeah, because that's their, their main pack member that has finally came back home to them. Yep. Well, one of their main pack members, not the main pack member. I take that back. Uh, Joyce says, I think when you let the game roll your dice, it's fixed. When you roll dice yourself, it's not fixed. Katie, did Nico ship sail? Yes, they finally set sail, and they're headed to the East Coast, unfortunately. I really wish they wouldn't have to go over there. So um, I don't know what day he'll get to the East Coast, and I don't know exactly where on the East Coast yet. They rarely fish on that side of the side of Greenland. Fishing's not as productive over there. But there's no sh the shrimps have ran from where they were at, probably because the water's too warm. Okay, here in a few minutes, I'm going to have to call it quits for the evening, if you don't mind. What time is it? It is 5.19 my time. Oh, we haven't even... Yeah, we've been on here for a little over an hour now. Yeah, I was thinking about two hours. I mean, we could stay for, I could stay until then. Yeah, I was thinking about two hours. Sounds good. Because I wasn't I sure had... how long you were thinking, so. Yeah, th Thursday I'll do three hours, but tonight I was just going to do two. So okay. I'm tired. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't stay like super long because of the fact that my son is here visiting. So I don't want to be too rude and being in here too long. So. What's he think about sewing? Does he have any interest in it? No. He loves, like, he's the one that I made that Mario Brothers jacket for. Mm hmm Did you get to see that? Yep, I saw it. Okay, so he's the one I made that for, and he loves the stuff I make. Like, I've made him quilts and stuff like that. I even turned it in his, like, his gamer tag and everything in the colors. It's 
scheme that he mm-hmm. uses for his channel. But as far as him actually doing it himself, nah, he doesn't have the patience for it or anything. So, so since since we've been talking about my dog and everything, and thank you, Pastry, I want to ask y'all a question, and it's a the question I'm going to ask is a bit um controversial because. It has to do with Russia, and um, Nora came from Russia. My my standard Dotson did, and the bloodlines that she came from is really, really a a really tough bloodlines. That's why she's not a scared dog. She's she's just she's made of tough stuff. But my problem is, my conscience says don't for obvious reasons because of what's going on. But my heart says, why should I penalize the breeder for what her leader is doing? Because she has no control over it anyway. What's y'all's opinion? Should I say no or should I ignore the um what do you call it when you don't do something because you don't think it's right? I'm kind of confused on the question. I need you to get that hit hit me with that question again. You know what Russia's doing? No, that's that's really? probably the you first don't? part. Wrong, huh? You don't know what they're doing. This has been going on for over almost two years now, and you you're unaware of it altogether. Are you referring to like the war and all? Yeah, I wasn't going to use okay. that word, but yeah. Okay, so that part I'm aware of. Okay, well my my breeder of Nora is in lives in Moscow. And if I buy another dog, that means that the money goes into that. The economy for that. Or it will you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my conscience is saying I should not should not contribute contribute to it, but my my heart is saying it's not fair to penalize um, Elena for her leadership. I think personally, I would not be blaming the breeder for what her country is doing. It's not her yeah, fault. Cause... She's got no control over it. No, because that'd be like a it's so complicated. The, the, somebody says, well, why don't you buy a dog from Denmark? The reason we didn't buy a dog from Denmark is, well, two reasons. One is because Denmark's breeders charge two times more for standard Datsun. And there's no guarantees that you're going to get a Datsun that's made of tough stuff. Because I've seen plenty of them here in Greenland that are scaredy cats that come from Denmark. And I had... I had uh, done a lot of research trying to find a breeder that had a working dog line that would not because usually when you have a working dog line that means they're gun dogs and gun dogs don't shy away from guns going off. This one here does not shy away when she hears fireworks. She just barks at it. <laughs> she's, uh, not minor of, minor she's not petrified. scared of anything. So, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to do. I, I thought about maybe seeing if the Ukraine, not Ukraine. Yeah, wait. No, Czech Republic. Czech Republic might have uh, standard dots and center oh, working lines. Maybe, program. I don't know. Because nice. that's where I got my German Shepherd from. Oh, my God, what a terrible day. I just finished it. We don't have rescue oh, wow. dogs here, Teresa. And I went and did a rescue dog because of all the line breeding. I want another Dotson, not another big dog. And that's all there is, is mixed breed big dogs with the same daddy. Because Code is my last German Shepherd. He's the last one of my, all of, because I've had German Shepherds all of my adult life and he's my last because I'm getting up in age and it's, you know, it's a lot of work to 
um, take care of a German Shepherd. Yeah, I agree with what Candace said. Candace said you're helping the breeder by getting a dog from them, leave politics out of it. Okay. That's what I, that's the same way I feel. Cause I feel she's a really nice breeder. She's been, on, she, and it's hard to find a, a good true breeder that is yep. not like a puppy mill or anything like that. So exactly. I, and the other thing is, is, um, you know, I waited on a waiting list because I was specific on what I wanted. I wanted a female black and red Dotson. And um, the, the chance of getting one that color is like 1% because there's so many new colors of Dotsons these days. And she, and she had uh, texted me in, uh, in the beginning of December of, you know, five years ago. And she says, I have something to tell you. I'm like, okay. She says, you know, remember how I told you that it's 1% chance of you getting the dog you want? Yeah. Well, my female just had puppies and there's one puppy out of seven puppies that was black and red and a female. She says, this puppy must have been met for you. So see, she could have took, she could have took somebody way ahead of me to give that puppy to, but she took me. Yeah. So exactly. She, I was so on I a waiting list. That, yeah. I was on a waiting list that could have lasted over two years. Because some breeders don't breed like mad. She doesn't. A good breeder is impossible to find, just like here in the U.S. I can't always be blamed for what these officials do. What kind of dogs do you... Uh, what kind of dog breeder are you um, guys crashed to? I thought about the U.S., but then it's all this rigmarole of taking the dog back through Europe. It's just easier and simpler to get something on this side of the pond. I yeah, did like text I her. I texted her a couple days ago, and I asked her if she was going to have do any litters this year, and she said she was. That's good. Just to you know, get see what she's got going on. Yeah, see what she what they come up with. Yeah. And Nikolai wants to do it uh get a male this go around. So Aw, the Sean's are so beautiful. What oh Bichons. Is that how you say Bichon? Huh? It's Bichon, right? Yeah. Is it expensive to get a dog from Russia? No. That's the whole thing. It's cheaper for us to buy one from Russia than for me to buy one from Denmark. They're two times the price in uh, Denmark. And you're not guaranteed to get a working line, which is what I want. Probably the reason why they're so more expensive in Denmark, Katie, is maybe because of how much harder it is to get care and food and stuff like that. I don't know. All I know is it's ridiculously priced. And I don't want to pay two times more for a dog. It's, you know, I'm not, it's not, it's not, you know, cheap to start with when you start buying a, a you know, a good bloodline dog. The same with the Coda. Coda, the, I knew what, I knew, I know a lot about German Shepherd bloodlines, especially the German kind. So when uh -huh. I went looking for a German Shepherd over here on this side, I, I approached the, the original breeder of the German Shepherd line and come to find out her husband had passed away and um, she she had uh, downsized all of their breeding stock and she sent me to a lady in the Czech Republic who happened to have some of her bloodlines, which I know all about. And it turned out that uh, the bloodlines on Coda are East German and uh, part Czech Republic bloodlines. So he came from a working dog line. That's good. So that's why, you know, when you take we you would take him to the lake, he would fetch a ball all that gum day. What kind of work can your little Dotson do? She can hunt. Did you know that a standard Dotson can kill a fox? All by themselves, you don't have to help. And she's ferocious. She would do that. 
She's killed mice in my house. And she's eaten them. Hey, hey, Janice, the right way. We were just hey, talking Janice. about you earlier. Hey, what uh, colorway are you doing on your PM uh, Tree of Life? I'm getting closer to getting these clues done. Pretty soon I'll be able to hook them all together. That's awesome. She's doing autumn shades. All right. Ooh, I pretty. have a first time PM cure or first time detective. Well, a standard a standard dots in like the one I have. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I could measure her to see what her height is, but she weighs about 24, 25 pounds. And that's the average for a female standard and a, a male standard weighs about 28 pounds. So they're not a small, they're not this little tiny dog. It's not like the size of a mini. She says, I am. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited for you, too. I cannot wait to start mine. You guys are going to have to make pictures. And then and when you get your fit, when you get it finished, I want a picture so I can put it on my blog because I have a blog that I've started that are for that are in honor of first time PM cures. OK. So I've been adding to it over the last two years of it, everyone's who has has a first time PMQ and uh -huh. I I ask a question the question that you'll get asked is why did you choose the colorway you chose what what did you think about the PMQ process and what did you learn during the process and then all of that information gets posted with your picture I can tell you right now one thing I'll learn that I that I love not having to cut the fabric <laughs> That's the that step I hate the most is the prep work. I really don't mind the cutting. You know what I don't like? I don't like just having to cut down crap. You know, when you have to trim down, I find that more annoying than anything. Oh my gosh, I know. Trimming is it's horrible. Especially when you have a Z and half square triangles to do it with. People are still shooting up fireworks. What are they shooting off fireworks over there for? It's probably somebody's birthday or something. Or it could oh, be something goodness. to do with or it could be something to do with the fact that uh, the Queen of Denmark advocated her throne to give it to her son and made him king of Denmark. So Janice, yes, I am a first timer. I'm actually gonna be doing um I chose the purple mist small. And I'm going to be doing mine strictly on my YouTube channel. So once I get it, I'll start doing it on my live streams every uh, month. Hey, Teresa, are you still around? She might not be, and I might have to do it. What you I'll need? do it. Never mind. I'll do it. I, I want to share um Janice's uh, channel with you guys, okay? Oh, okay. And I need to put her in the bot. I'll do that tonight when we get offline. I'll get some of this stuff, some of this housekeeping caught up. <laughs> housekeeping. Housekeeping part of this, this YouTubing is insanely time consuming. So you guys go over to Janice's, um, channel 
and subscribe to help her channel grow. Here's the link for it. Yes, go and, show some love. And just so you know, Janice is going to come sew with me in the soon-to-be future. We've I've already got a date lined up and the, the thumbnails up. Did you get a chance to go have a look at it, Janice? Baby. I think it's pretty darn cute. Hi, now baby. that I know she's going to make a PMQ, I definitely will have to put her colorway on that thumbnail so that people will know she's a PMQ. Hey, burn it. You know, there's a really bad thing about having cubby holes all the way around you over here. <laughs> You're surrounded by for babies got, like I have one. You know I got she's so got her, stashed everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This one's got herself stretched completely across the floor, under my desk, in front of my foot pedal. I have a laundry so I'm basket. Having to reach, and I'm my, having to reach over the top of her. I have a laundry basket under my desk. Because this is just a wooden student's desk. And underneath it is a laundry basket. And I keep like sheets and pillowcases and stuff like that underneath there. Because I keep all my craft show stuff in my closet. <laughs> so, so you guys help me help me tell Janice something. Don't be scared of a live. And besides, I'll be hosting the live. And all you've got to do is sew and talk. It's so easy. She's not the first one that I've uh, done a live with that doesn't do lives but does pre-record it. Uh, Shonda's the other one that never has never done a live by herself. She did the live with me because I brought her into the you know my live, but she uh -huh. does pre-record it also because she's afraid of doing going live. Hey, Don't you be know, afraid. We will make you all. All of us will make you see how easy and comfortable you can be with it. It is really no different than doing a recording. The only difference is is that you got people in the chat to help. To sit there and help communicate with you. Yep. And you'll the, you hard, know, the hardest part is sitting there figuring out questions to ask to keep the conversation going. That's the hardest yep. part. That multitasking is the hard part. Yeah. There's times where it's like I'll keep sewing and just jibber jabber, and then occasionally I'll stop and look up at my chat to see what everybody's saying or questions asked or whatnot. And whenever I do that, I'm not sewing. Oh my God, I got these backwards. Okay, so those two rows are completely done and sashed. Now I'm just going to get these two, this one here sashed. Ah, no. I have to take these four triangles apart because I sewed them on the, the, uh, on the wrong side of each other. You know, it's only, it's only fair that Jack comes out to visit you too. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> just when I thought I was making headway on here, oh my gosh! See, that's what you get for bragging. Yep, <laughs> thinking I was going to be finishing this. You're welcome, Janice. We're all we will all be here to help you, and that's why it's it's it it you coming to sew with me on my life will help break the ice, and you'll get a chance to see how it all works. And everybody who comes in and watches, they're all going to be kind to you. So you don't and, have to worry about anything going wrong. Unless it's me and, unless it's me and my technology. Just And just remember, you won't be the host. Katie will. So she'll probably be doing most of the talking anyway. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> now. <laughs> now I've got to unpress all of these so I can get this seam out. Thank you, Joy, for subscribing to Janice's channel. Yep. Help. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Because we're we are all part of the tribe. Yes, definitely. And you guys have helped me so much. And I just want to share it. Thank you, Linda. Oh, hi, hey, Linda. I didn't even know you were here. We have a great group of followers and they all will tell you the same thing. You have nothing to worry about. Welcome back, Andrea. Andrea says, I am back and there is ice everywhere out there and it is now below freezing. The only good thing is, is that the wind is not blowing. Yeah, if the wind was blowing, it'd really be cold. Yes. 
So, Joe, how are you doing? She says she's never done a live either. Well, I'm well, going to have to start a... getting some people over on my channel, too. Yeah, because you, I want to start yeah. doing sewing chats. These sewing chats. Let's get these people who... Let's get these... Uh, uh, get these newbies people. out. And get yes. the... Yeah, let's, let's break the ice. Get their... Yeah, the, e the, the easiest way I've seen that the easiest for my own personal experience, the easiest way of breaking the ice is just getting out there on someone else's channel first. So that way they gives you t a chance to get comfortable with talking in front of a live camera. Yep. And, and, and seeing how the channel, how the channel moves as you're doing it. And you don't even have going to. And if you don't feel comfortable, even after that, you don't have to do a live on your channel. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to twist your arm. You could always just stick with coming on other people's channels so that whether you got someone to talk to and help keep your mind preoccupied. You see and what Joyce says? Uh, recording on yours. Yep. Joyce says, sometimes us chat peeps talk too much. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about either. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk too much. No, we don't. <sighs> We can't help it. We got to get to Gab. I have an advantage over probably a lot of people because I can burn the rubber on the chat part. Just typing. Uh, because I've been typing in a chat room since 1994. When, before video ever became a video. Now, I was never one to be all wild and crazy about being in front of a camera. But for whatever reason, I wanted to get my own YouTube channel and put myself out there. Don't know what was going on with me. I know why I did it. But now a I love it. Has, it. I, a lot of it has to do with the fact of where I live at. And secondly, by doing this, my grandkids will have something to watch, you know, when I'm not around anymore. Yeah. And I'm not being morbid. I'm just speaking plainly here. Well, yeah. I mean, that way there you got video footage of of leaving something behind. I mean, there's nothing wrong yep. with that. Leave a small legacy, you know. Yup. And my legacy is going to be pictures and videos, especially my pictures. I have 12,000 pictures over on my Flickr page. And most of it's Greenland. Oh, wow. I, I have, you know, I just, I can't help it. I want to take pictures every chance I get. And there's nothing wrong with that. I do the same thing, but with my animals. And, you know, I've been toting a camera around since I was 16 years old. I and cannot most tell of you my how... pictures, most of my pictures was of plants. <laughs> I can't tell you how many pictures I have of just my animals sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're so, so like cool cute. Cute. So Joe says, I'm not afraid of going on live, but I am afraid of the technology. I live in a rural area and sometimes the internet connection stinks. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, yep, definitely. That would that be a good be reason. That would definitely be a challenge. But what you could do is try to, I don't know, what you, when you go live, that takes a lot of bandwidth. I would say how, figure out what is the busy times of the internet connection like yeah like after school and stuff like that i probably would refrain from like right after school hours because that's when all the kids can be getting online and gaming and all yeah do it when the you when uh usage would be low and that would mean maybe doing it late at night or really early in the morning janice says it's very entertaining listening to you both and encouraging too yeah, hey, you got it. You know, that's what we're here for. We are all here to help support each other. That that's is the right. most important thing in life. It's just yep. be here for each other and help support. And we all need that that big amount of kindness, especially in this day and age. Yes. Kindness and and. Love is just everything these days. That's why I always say, 
no matter what goes on in your life and you go out and about, always make sure you smile at everybody. Because you yes. never know when you might make a difference in that one person's yes. day just Especially, by smiling. Yep. You, they may be having a bad day and your smile lifted their spirit. Uh, yep. And our world needs a whole lot of this kind of kindness and, you know, just people smiling and stuff. One of the things I noticed when I first moved here to Greenland, it, it, it amazed me because um, when, I, when Nikolai was walking me through town and stuff, people would stop and talk to us. And Greenlanders, Greenlanders are a different breed of people here. Uh, they smile a lot. They're, they laugh a lot. They're humorous. And you know they're friendly, and they love well, like the southern hospitality in, in Greenland. Yeah, it's just, it's totally amazing the way for like the first two years of me living here, I felt like a movie star because they was all of them would stop and talk to me, and they still do it when I'm not hiding. And when and when I go do um tour guiding, and and they'll see me, and they'll stop, they'll come join the group and say, "Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you all right? Where have you been?" Have you been to the United States or something? Because we sure have missed you. It's because I just haven't left the house. The pandemic. Hey, Joydy. Kind of did... Joydy, who is John and Carlos? Is that? I feel like I've heard those names before. I just can't. I'm not. It's not ringing a bell off him. So Andrew says I was a videographer in an earlier life. I am used to being behind the camera. I was live streaming before it was a thing. Oh, cool. Get John and Carlos on your live. Yeah, who is that? What's the name of their channel? I'm always up for someone new to add to my little string of Yeah, life. since I've gotten my new setup, I've not started to have anybody over on it yet. I've been trying to get everything figured out first before, yeah. I, before I start bringing in other people. Joyce says, laugh out loud. Me too, Katie. Depends on whose channel, though. Easy in here and Donnell. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and Janice says, yes, absolutely. Um, and Andrea says, for all the Texans here, I think the state is officially closed. Oh, my gosh. Has the power, have they had a power shut down from the cold yet? I'm wondering how Ian's faring with all this cold. Oh, my gosh. I probably cuddled up underneath all of his quilts. <laughs> yeah, probably. I hope everybody keeps their power on. I hope they don't lose it like they did last time. Because Texas has its own power grid. Oh, well, I got three you... rows put together. Did you know that California doesn't have its own power grid? It gets its I power know that from they over. Have, I probably it, it, heard that they have like rolling burnouts or something like that. No, um, they buy their power from over the state line. Oh wow! Because, because of some the original owner ran the company bankrupt or something. I don't know the exact story, but um, oh no, yeah, they get their power from somewhere else. Okay, Jordy says Guy's Craft too. That's who she's referring to. For us to who? get on our channels. Oh, that Guy's Craft too. That's who they are? Okay. I think I've watched a couple of their videos, but I didn't know their names. I've, I've watched a few of their videos. I actually just recently subscribed to them, so I'll definitely because have I to reach out. Yeah, because um, Sean has mentioned them to me a couple of times. Yeah, Sean's mentioned uh, multiple uh, uh, the other fellow guy quilters that he's aware of. So Sean knows a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh my god, Robin Marie says, "Oh my goodness, our heater went out. I don't think it's cold, but." Mom is 83 and freezing, so the guy is fixing it now. Thank goodness you got someone there fixing it. Yeah, I'm glad you're getting it fixed. That would be bad if you couldn't keep your mom warm. This is... I used to keep an electric blanket 
when I lived in Florida, just in case, you know, I couldn't get the heat to come on. Yeah. And, and But I couldn't sleep with an electric blanket here because now I'm just so sensitive to being hot. Oh, I believe that. But, you know, when, when I, when I went, when I woke up to go to the bathroom, I'm like, the house seemed a little cold, you know, even though I, and I had a window crack, which makes this worse because I didn't know the boiler had shut off. And um, so I'm like, why does it feel so cold in here? Because, and when I stepped onto the floor, I'm like, hmm. But when I walked into the bathroom, I knew it was off because the tile turns, when the tile gets cold, oh my gosh. It really bothers you when you're walking across cold tile that feels like the outside. So Andrea says, our infrastructure is not set up for ice and snow. Erica, our power grid, has been telling us to conserve power all day. I bet it has. But why haven't they fixed that problem? I would have thought they would have learned that from the last go around. Because people died in the last go around. See, and so Sojo says well, Sean knows everybody. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's the go to person. Hey, who can you recommend? But I secured two people um, on, on my own because of. Uh, um, so y'all know that I do those Stronger Together every year, which that quarter shop released the pattern early for the February one. Yes. And so I went over on Instagram hunting down the um, designers to see who was going to be the new designer because there was four designers for this pattern this time. And uh I messaged him and said, hey, you know, I'm going to be doing the Stronger Together. And I'm excited about it. Uh, and they and they actually, they answered me, which was surprising, to be honest, because I didn't think they would answer me. You know, sometimes people don't. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Anyway, uh, they, all four of them answered me. Oh, wow. And then, so I, then I wrote back and I said something like, um, are any of you, in, would, well, I wrote, I told him I was a YouTube um, creator and that I like doing um, interviews with designers or uh, YouTube creators or what, you know, that have to do with quilting. And I said, um, and if interviewing is not your thing, would you be interested in sewing with me live on my channel? Well, two of the four answered me. I said, sure. One of them's going to do an interview and a live with me. And the other one is just going to do the live with me. And yeah, I'm, in... I'm all I'm all good with that. Yeah, that like I spent on I can... a, I've done so much chats, but you're the only one that's actually ever actually uh, officially interviewed me other than being on Sean's uh, quilt thing. So I don't wish it's a it's interviews. These are fun for me because, and maybe that's because I tour guide, I guess. But um, interviews are fun because I don't, as long as I've been sewing now, since I started getting involved in making quilts, I really don't know people. And the best way to know people is to start asking. And I, and I can tell you this, if you met somebody from my life, and you ask them this question, what would you, what one thing would you say about Kathy? You know what they'd say? Hmm. She likes to ask questions. As far back as I can remember, that's all I've ever done is ask questions. Why this? How does this work? I just can't help it. And You're I think a very that's inquisitive why I like doing, person. Yeah. And I think that's why I like doing interviews because I can ask questions. And then let the the person I'm asking the questions, you know, go with it. And I just sit and listen. 
see, Andrea says, I would do stuff on YouTube if it weren't for my hearing. I would only be able to do recordings, not lives. I would have to use AI voices because my voice is terrible. Aw, I'm sorry. You and said that? Andrea? Why do you think your voice is bad? And then Pastry Queen says, that's why I have a generator. We lose power in the mountains. Sometimes it's the email. My Gmail is the worst. So many times I don't get messages. My Yahoo is much more reliable. Oh, that makes and sense. And Jordy says, I like Arkansas girl Andrea. She would be a good collaborator also. She quotes and sings. Very funny. Yeah, I, I have messaged her about getting together with her and i think she told me she would have to wait until after april or something there was a couple people that asked to do it after april because they were way booked up already i can't believe how quickly people book up especially the ones that are a lot of people already know about and becca there's no so between me and becca this year because she's packed out yeah she's got a lot going on especially with that collaboration well Is Kelly still in here? Who? I met the Kelly. Or did she um, leave? I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. Let me see if I can. Let me see. At Kelly. Nope, she's still here. She's also going to be on one of my lives. Awesome sauce. I wanted to, just something I want to ask her about. She says several reasons. For one, I cannot tell what volume I am speaking. Plus, I sound like I have laryngitis all the time. Oh. All I got to say is you just do what is comfortable for you and works for you. Yeah, you do you. I saw uh, someone had used an AI uh, voice at the beginning of their video, and I about fell out of my chair. I'm like, wait, what? Mm -mm. Huh? That's the first time I've seen one that I'm aware of anyway. But it was at the beginning of their uh, live. I'm like, interesting. I didn't even know you could do that. Right. This is kind of annoying me because when you rip things out, it changes the way the triangle works. Maybe people don't understand you because they're not actually listening to you. Which is sad. Well, Talking. one more row to add on. And then the top of my pineapple will be done. All right. And I'm slowly getting these remade and ready for attachment here. I'm about to go ahead and add on the other row. And then I'll try and add the strips on later. Now, Andrea says, I would do stuff on YouTube if it weren't for my hearing. I would only be able to do recordings, not lives. I would have to use AI voices because my voice is, you know. Oh, I understand. It has something to do with your hearing. Now I understand what you're saying. Well, that, that hadn't occurred to me about the hearing problem. Well, it's not a problem. You know what I meant. I'm making dinner while listening. I hate cooking. I love cooking. You know what I hate? I hate doing dishes. Yeah, I've always had an agreement with my husband. He does the cooking. I do the cleaning. I can't stand washing dishes. I can't. Stand I would rather else. wash laundry seven days a week to have to touch a dish. 
I can't stand someone else washing my dishes. He's trying he's trying to work it out where we can get a dishwasher in this house. But for me, I got a pet peeve uh, that they got to be a washer a certain way. So it's like I always just tell everybody, just put your rinse your dish and stick it in the sink. I'll wash it. Because it got to be done a certain way because otherwise it drives me bonkers. Several people have asked me to relate my quilting experience of day gone by, like the hanging quilt rack and learning on a treadle machine. Oh, okay. And it's been hard to do that, huh? Have you ever thought about writing blogs about it? Because that's a good way of doing it, it by writing yep. instead of speaking. Definitely. It's a good way yeah, to get that way, information very... out. Yeah, and you can, you if, if you're good, if you have lots to talk about, you can definitely write it. I agree with Janice. I would too. Or even like Frank says, there are yeah. many voiceless contributors out there. Like, the, yeah, there are a lot of videos that even I've watched where they yep. show you how they're doing it and everything without speaking. You just learn from watching. I can tell you that my husband, when sometimes he'll translate something from Danish to English, and then he'll try to read it to me, and he sometimes it comes out weird. So he, he'll use the AI on the wherever he had done the translating and it'll it'll speak the words that were typed out. So it's possible where you can just type things out and it speak for you like that. Dang needles. I've kind of messed around a little bit with the AI on my WordPress blog, but um just to see what it's about. And it's interesting. She finally gave up being annoying. Okay, we are over the two hour mark now. Yep. And I still don't have my stuff totally put together because I had to rip out triangles. And something just freaked out on my sewing machine but if you want to call it we can call it and i can finish this on the next live yeah i hate to say it but just because of the fact that my child is here so i do want to spend some time with him before he has to leave to go home okay well before you leave how about showing them what you what you got done and then i'll show them what i got done all so right far. so my my second row is still pinned but or the third row but I got this part done. I'm still working on getting this one here sewn together. But that is going to be the top of the pineapple. That's going to be a big one. So let me catch up on the text. It's going to be quick. a queen size quilt. So that's going to be like I had the body of it already done. Let me back up and I can show you guys. Let's see. Here it goes this way. So this is the body of it. pretty you know what robin says she says i find it funny that people wash their dishes to put them in the dishwasher yep andrea oh uh, wait joyce says andrea what about a quilt vlog that would be interesting yeah i was thinking write a blog you there's you can make a big blog all about your experiences and, and use yeah. pictures you can also get the ai to help you write it if you need help and Andrea says, that is how I use AI. I write it out and let the AI voice do the talk. Hey, that's good. Uh, Andrea says, I actually have a channel called Living, Loving, Laughing, but it only has an intro so far. Hey, that's okay. You got to start when somewhere. You're ready, when you're ready, you'll be ready. Frank says, Robin Marie, what's the dishwasher for? And Teresa says, bye, everyone. Thank you for sticking around, Teresa. Janice, yes, and how helping. did you go? Lori says, looks good. All right. And Frank says, exactly. Janice is lovely. Is that cool as you go? Yes, Janice, it is. is I'm doing that cover strip method. And Andrea says, let us know when it's up and running. Yes. Okay. So here's what I've been working on. As I said, I've been working on my Clue 8 
begonia. So here's one part of it. Ah, beautiful. And then there's flying geese. Just got to be added to that. Cool, cool. And then these two sets of triangles have to be sewn together down like this. Wait a minute. Like this. And then I'll be adding all the pieces together to Oh, be, wow. make, make four long ones. So Awesome sauce. I will complete this on my next live because I have another live this week anyway on Thursday, either Wednesday or Thursday, or maybe both. Thank you, Joyty. So um, thank you, everybody, for coming to the live tonight, because normally I don't do a live on Mondays. But I am okay with doing that. I am so appreciative of all of y'all coming. Thank you, Donnell, for coming and sitting with me. We should do this again, because I think it's good for both of us. Yes, And, definitely. um, And I enjoyed, really enjoyed it. So thank yeah, you for having me. time goes by so fast, you know. <laughs> It thank does. you, Lori. Uh. Does anyone else have a question before we call it? Thank you, Robin. All right, looks like that's about it. I don't Yep. see All anyone right. else Well, thank asking you. anything, so. Yeah. Oh, we should look at that uh, poll first before we all... Oh, definitely. Yeah, we got 50 votes in. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, okay, There there's it is. the, there it is. So 40% had 6 to 10, 31% 1 to 5, 18% 20 to 21 to 30, and 10% 11 to 20. So it looks like the 6 to 10 got the highest percentage. Which is where I'm at. And that was with 50 votes. Thank you, everybody. And I'm, I, we enjoyed it. And y'all have a great uh, evening. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone. Now, let me find the screen. I'm looking for the end button. So give me a bur give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye.